isolated with only a few acquaintances and half-friendly neighbours to keep him in touch with reality, his mind turned inward. He started to plot and scheme, half in jest, half in earnest. What about sailing off into the wide blue yonder? Literally. She was a good little boat, seaworthy, although the forehatch was dodgy and the crazed port lights wouldn't take much of a beating. But she had nearly a ton of lead in the keel and she was strong. He'd sailed her for thirty years and knew every inch of her. The VHF radio would only work for the first twenty miles out into Bass Strait and he didn't have an HF set. But what did that matter? Who are you going to call? God? Neptune? Helena? Ah, that's her name. That was her name. See, not completely do laddie yet, Sonny Jim. Still got some marbles. He'd never seen the ice. What a wondrous thing it must be. He knew that it was out there, tantalisingly out of reach. Just steer east of Flinders Island and keep heading south. Keep an eye on the GPS so as not to bump into Tasmania. And even a small boat could get there, surely. O'Donnell of the Antarctic. What an adventure. What a laugh. 